Hi and welcome back. This is another video covering some new features in Waveform 11.5. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the custom menu. This is a menu where you can organize any actions that you'd like that you want to be available from context menus or from the actions menu in Waveform from the main page. So I'm gonna show you what this means. It's a change and an enhancement of a feature that was here before that allowed you to, to run scripts or keyboard shortcuts using kind of a launcher kind of a menu. But now it's incorporated in more places and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So on the main page here, if we click here to open the menu, you'll see where it says actions. I believe this was previously called something like run script or something like that. Well, this is the access into the custom menu, which is right here. And I only have two items in there right now. Toggle the drag to draw marked regions or showing my favorite actions. So if I click that, you'll see now my cursor is in the, it's in the, that selection mode. I can go and toggle back. And now I've got the iBeam cursor mode for drawing in or a range. But I can also access that from right-click menus for all of the clips. So the clips, all the different kinds of clips have new context menus in 11.5. So if I right-click on the header, here's the new context menu that includes the color selection and things. Well, down at the bottom, the custom menu is there too. So anything that you put in the custom menu will also appear and be handy anytime you right-click on one of the clips. Now it's the same for all different kinds of clips, but you can organize these into folders and customize this menu. If you happen to be on something like this and I have show favorites, then it actually pulls up my favorite selection. So that's a quick way to get at everything that's not on this menu. So if I right click, you'll see I've got a lot of tools here. Well, if I show my favorite actions menu, that shows it could be everything else or anything that you'd like related to clips you can show on there as well. The way you can use this is completely open and flexible. This is on a MIDI clip, got the same thing. These tools are different, but the custom menu appears there as well. And also for MIDI notes, I'll just open this up a little bit. So here's a MIDI clip. So if I right click on a MIDI note, the custom menu is there. So anything that you wanted to add that's not, doesn't appear here. On any of these contexts, you can put them in there. So the way you do that is in settings. Under keyboard shortcuts, you'll see right here over on the right, I've got custom menu editor and my two items are in there. If you don't see it, down at the bottom of the page, you've got show custom menu, which opens and closes that. And I'm going to add zoom to fit to this menu. I've already sort of lined that up, but you could add anything you want. So if you drag in zoom to fit, you can also put these in any order you want. You could right click and add a group, rename the group, and say you wanted to put in things related to MIDI editing, you could have a folder for your MIDI items. Just an example, this is completely open and flexible, also very easy to use. So I'm gonna remove that. And now I've added zoom to fit. So now I'm in here editing, and for whatever reason I wanted zoom to fit right there, I can have zoom to fit. You can even put play in there if you want it. It's going to be interesting to see what some of the, the best things to put in here. So I'm gonna actually add play stop to that menu. Just, uh, I'll put that right here at the top of that menu. And now I'm in here editing. I'm gonna do a crop. So I'll do a selection, do crop, go back here, right click on my custom menu, I've got play. So you may not wanna do that, but you could if you want. It'll be very interesting to find new uses for the custom menu. It's way more accessible than it was in previous versions. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun customizing your context menus by adding 
unique actions to that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.